one for you tonight. I um, haven't spoken in over a month, and I'm really happy that I can share this with everyone here. So, um, my name is Willie, and I am a bisexual, polyamorous swinger uh, with a lot of love in my heart. And um, I went to a party a while ago and met two people that we're going to call uh, Mike and Karen, so you can never find them. <laughs> so, uh, but they are wonderful people, and I do care greatly about them. And um, they looked me up on uh, Fet Life, and uh, we got to messaging. And about a little over a month and a half ago, we uh, decided to rent out a hotel and get to know each other uh, quite favorably. Now, the thing is, our talks online mostly consisted of how we don't really like PC culture, you know, or whatever you want to call that. Just like being nice for the sake of being nice. We don't really like that. We we do that throughout our lives every day when we go to the office, when we work, wherever we work. We're always nice for the sake of being nice for societal function. Well, with uh, Mike and Karen, this was not the case, and this was not the case for about five hours straight. It was some of the most engaging, runchy grungy, dirty, ugly, would blow up on Twitter, CNN would like have bits about it, Donald Trump wouldn't say it type of stuff. <laughs> it was utterly amazing, and yes, if you think of the just the worst dirty words that have been terrible throughout history, and I've been called it several times while coming, I absolutely love this couple. Um, they're a married couple, they've been uh, married for at least 12 years, and um, Again, I have extremely intense chemistry with them, and I'm really happy about that. So I met up with them again um, about two weeks ago, a different hotel, a little closer to me this time, because we are trying to work ourselves halfway. And here's the point. Um, after having another amazing session with a couple of extra friends, uh, we were eating continental breakfast uh, the next morning um, inside of the hotel. And a commercial came on in which uh, I have, uh, just to let you guys know, please don't tell the government, I have two phones. I have a burner cell phone, one that does not get storm alerts, one that does not get uh, amber alerts, one that is not connected to the internet, and one that the government cannot find. And then I have a regular phone just like everyone else. So um, I don't really see that many ads. So the only time that I watch commercials or ads trying to sell you shit that you don't need is when I'm hanging out with my friends or this particular couple. Well, while eating a continental breakfast, Mike sees a commercial on a guy saying, no, this year is warmer than it's ever been before. You know, the temperatures are going up and things are looking bad. And Mike takes a bite of his muffin, looks up and says, I don't even believe in global warming. Uh, and then puts oh, the no. muffin down. Now the thing is, Mike, who's also bisexual, and I really do care about this guy, the previous night had fucked me upside down against the wall with a chain against my neck okay. while Karen was holding me up. And, um, of course, I've had an intimate connection with Karen too, but the thing is, as soon as he said that, the room, like, it's like the light went out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> Things got really, really quiet. Like, even though there was like a pancake maker in the corner, and like, some <laughs> kids, like, kind of, like And then, through my head, I just immediately thought, did he feel that way when he was fucking me? <laughs> like, like, when he was like fucking me against that wall, was he just like, yeah, fuck the oceans, just throw the plastic in there, fuck the turtle, fuck the turtle. <laughs> and, when he was like flirting with me online, and again, we have incredible adventure, I'm gonna see these guys again, but who's in the world? It's really good. <laughs> was he like, you know, baby, I'm gonna melt your ass like I'm gonna melt the ice caps. You just melt <laughs> okay, You think you've seen smog in the sky? Now I'm gonna turn your whole world black. <laughs> and and that, that's basically my story. It's just um, wh whoever you find chemistry with and whoever you enjoy the company of, hey, I'm not gonna judge you. These guys don't judge me, and we have really, really good chemistry. But it was just quite a shock to hear that and know that what he had said, you know, just eating his muffin, I don't care about global warming, sitting back down, hit me way harder than anything they struck me with in the past two weeks. <laughs> and we were going to definitely talk about that because I didn't know I had a trigger. Um, <laughs> and I am still going to continue seeing Mike and Karen for as long as they, they wish to have me. They, they're an extremely passionate couple. I might be an NRE new relationship energy with them, but it's nice to be able to not be the constantly nice for the sake of being nice, societal function person that I am in my everyday life about them. So thank you guys for your time. Yes. Um, please make sure the people that you are randomly just up with, they don't have to have your exact same beliefs, but you know, if it goes really far, you should find that out. You know, before they like do things that make you think that like 
them destroying theirs, it's also destroying you. So thank you guys very much. Have a great night.